10 ways hospital stays can make us sick. Especially when we are sick and weak, we can count on medical professionals to deal with them. We can count on their knowledge, education, skills, and compassion. We expect them to help us heal so that we can return to our responsibilities and those of employers and employees, husbands, wives, parents, neighbors, and friends. We certainly don't expect it to get any worse as a result of his hospital stay. However, there is a chance that we will actually be worse off if there are 10 ways to stay in the hospital, it can make us sick. 10 Post-Hospital Syndrome Dr. Harlan Lee of Yale University School of Medicine coined the term, post-hospital syndrome, a period of time during which patients are prone to illness after a short hospital stay. He asks to become their heir within 30 days of completing the first discharge, ESD. The reason for the purchase time varies from hospital infection, high, stress, distress during hospital stay, short hospital stay and lack of food or exercise, and for reduced immune system function and depression. A 2009 study shows that among Medicare patients, 2.6 million ordered patients, 20%, were taken to the hospital within a month of being shut down. 9. Food Mistakes A study by the Pennsylvania Patient Safety Authority found that between January 2009 and June 2014, Hospital staff made 285 errors related to patient nutrition 181 that were related to cause and effect diagrams, accidents, and communication errors. 8. Caused severe damage to the patient. In one case, a patient with an allergy to shellfish and fish, and had to administer epinephrine, given the amount of intravenous, infusion, medication, and was transferred to the intensive care unit for observation. Other patients, whom they considered too fast, were given food, or food that did not meet the recommended diet. Mistakes were made during the diet, from ordering to delivery. Amazon invests $1 billion in Indian company's New York Stock Exchange, recently opened, but this masks the issue as well. 8. Food Disclaimer In an article published in the online journal BMJ Quality and Safety and Johns Hopkins Diverse Hospital, Doctors argue that the practice of withholding food to patients eight hours before the procedure is unnecessary and potentially dangerous. Even worse, in some cases, patients may have to wait a day for hospitalization, which allows them to eat, if necessary, be under general anesthesia for surgery. Patients with weakened immune systems, deprived of sleep and food. Not enough power is in half of the patients, it can lead to inflammation, muscle atrophy and organ damage. Dr. Martin Makari, one of the authors of the article, which discusses the need eight hours of fasting, called the operation, a myth. He and his colleagues noted that patients safely consumed high-carbohydrate drinks two hours before surgery. It also recommends that patients should be able to eat at other than hospital meals during their hospital stay. 7. Infections Sullied clinical gear, defective careful entry points, and such a large number of anti-infection agents add to HAIs brought about by microbes, parasites, and infections. The magazine Consumer Reports appraised emergency clinics dependent on their number of diseases identified with careful locales, catheter or urinary plot contaminations, and bloodline contaminations. After a year, they added C. diff and two regular, drug-safe bacterial contaminations that can spread effectively and are conceivably deadly. As per the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, almost 650,000 patients obtained just about 722,000 HAIs in 2011. Day by day, 200 patients kicked the bucket of these diseases during hospitalization. High rates of HAIs happen even in esteemed emergency clinics like Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City, and Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles. Exacting disease control conventions, limited utilization of anti-infection agents, and tidying up clinic rooms and clinical gear are compelling measures in the decrease or disposal of these contaminations. In U.S. states with remiss revealing necessities, numerous clinics upcode HAIs, allocating them bogus charging codes which are hard to identify. Along these lines, these emergency clinics stay away from the deficiency of government installments because of punishments for the event of HAIs. One proposed arrangement is to expect emergency clinics to report all HAIs, including the names of contaminated patients, the impacts of the diseases, and the disease's root cause, S. This proposition likewise recommends expanding the quantity of emergency clinics focused on by reviews. 6. Poor care of elderly patients. 
older patients will in general get more regrettable consideration than different patients. Accordingly, a considerable lot of them leave the clinic fit as a fiddle, actually and mentally, than when they were conceded. More seasoned patients are some of the time not taken care of appropriately, don't get sufficient exercise, or don't get adequate torment control. Regularly, oxygen tanks or intravenous IV, shafts keep the older from getting up. Specialists perform pointless methods on these patients and recommend repetitive or possibly destructive prescriptions. The older are denied rest in uproarious wards or on the grounds that their essential signs are checked oftentimes for the duration of the evening. More youthful patients are stronger than seniors, so more established patients may make some harder memories than more youthful patients in recuperating from such treatment. A few medical clinics separate old patients from others, eliminating IV cylinders and urging them to get up to eat in a typical lounge area. The spotlight in such clinics is on old patients' capacity to really focus on themselves at home. Be that as it may, improved consideration for seniors is certainly not a high need for most clinics since cognitive decline and the powerlessness to walk, in contrast to HAIs, are not weaknesses for which medical clinics are punished by the public authority. In the event that you don't quantify it, you can't fix it, said Ken Kavinsky, a doctor and scientist at the University of California, San Francisco, Division of Geriatrics. 5. Reduced Care to get by in poor monetary conditions, little clinics frequently converge with huge chains. Commonly, the U.S. government doesn't screen these consolidations or their impacts on quiet consideration. The objective of these consolidations might be to cut covering administrations, haggle more ideal arrangements with insurance agencies, and offer in the expense investment funds. However, a few administrations may presently don't be given at all since choices about medical services depend more on benefit or philosophy than on tolerant consideration. In any event, when state governments give some oversight, it's anything but centered around holding or expanding care. The majority of the guidelines concerning patient administrations were created when the quantity of clinics was expanding instead of diminishing. At times, decreases in administrations are philosophical in nature, as when clinics established by religions associations will not give early terminations. 4. Poor staff hygiene. Now and again, patients are more terrible off after hospitalization because of helpless staff cleanliness. At times, specialists don't wash their hands as regularly as they ought to. Medical attendants, entrusted with reminding doctors and specialists to do as such, don't believe it's their obligation to police the specialists. If they somehow happened to offer such updates, attendants said, they'd dread censures. Specialists additionally don't have any desire to be berated by medical attendants since it infers that the specialists don't know about the requirement for sterile practices. To battle the issue of helpless staff cleanliness, internet destinations grade clinics on tolerant security. The government likewise keeps an online data set dependent on quiet records. 3. Missing and damaged equipment. One of the main problems of Princess Margaret Hospital in Eastern California. Thomas, Jamaica, there were equipment failures and a lack of basic equipment. The first problem was solved by building a new neighborhood, as well as due to the size of the existing surface of the object. However, he is inofficially in the hospital, and employees complained about the air conditioner, which has not been working for several months. The device should cool down so that the system and the surgeon's office, and other employees were comfortable during the procedure. An air conditioner is a cooling system that allows it to function properly. Patients who do not require general anesthesia during surgery are also affected by heat. According to the hospital's chief executive, Jane Hill, and repairs to air conditioners that are planned in the future, the hospital hopes to receive from the Echo device. However, she said, there is still a need for other things. Some of these things were a hematology analyzer, and others were standard, standard, found in hospitals. Two sick doctors even though doctors feel that they are forced to work during illness, and will put their patients with weakened immune systems at risk of infection, doctors do so. In a survey of medical professionals, including 280 doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, Philadelphia, 83%. The people admitted to working during their illness at least once in the last year. Their symptoms included diarrhea, fever, common cold, and flu. These employees work during illness because they don't want their colleagues or patients to fall. In addition, it should be noted that peer pressure is not taken into account, as a colleague criticizes doctors who are on sick leave. 
Previous studies have shown similar results, indicating that doctors respond in the workplace, at work, in the event of illness. 1. Never events and serious adverse events. Never events, events that should never happen can make patients worse. Those to prevent incidents, such as an incident involving that part of the body or leaving a foreign body in the patient's body, can seriously harm you or even kill the patient. In addition, serious, unwanted incidents MIS, can cause discomfort or injury, as well as kill the patient. SUIs of patients self-harm due to falling from a height, doctors do not work in accordance with the results of research, and the reason for the need for further treatment is the staff of patients for breast screening due to faulty equipment, as well as the dentist for removing the wrong tooth. Hospitals have a duty to ensure that health professionals report dangerous clinical practices, a spokesperson for the Ridington, Wigan and Lee NHS Foundation Trust said, and these reports should be reviewed very well. Gary Pullman lives in the south of Area 51, which, according to his family and friends, explains, it means a lot. It's 2016, and the urban fantasy novel, in general, the world is full of pain, it is available in Amazon.com in paperback or edit the Kindle, which was published by Wild Rose Press. A lecturer at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, he writes for various blogs, including Cold Storage and Thrillers, a blog about the theory and practice of writing horror fiction and action novels, as well as other terror stories.